Uh, we can't sustain what we're doing in this country. We're continuing to spend more and more of our resources on health care, and we're sure. getting less and less. Sure. Um, and we've got to do something about that. We That's all right. care enough about this nation and, and uh, our, our families and our neighbors um, to really get something done. And we can do it constructively when we work together. And that's what's important. So I appreciate y'all caring enough to be out here. There are people who do care and want uh, the legislation to be passed. So I'm retired, not doing much of anything. I said, well, you know, get up, go. It's just a couple of hours out of, out of my day. So I decided to come and bring the sign and just show support. Uh, for health care reform. I do believe in I'm a disabled veteran, so I have my uh, health care taken care of, but I do uh, feel for people who don't have health care because I know what it was like before I got my disability approved to not have health care. Mm -hmm. You know, I know the pain of that, so I'm supportive of this reform effort. Okay. And I hope America will stop listening to, you know, the, the false information think for themselves rather than this, this stuff that's going on. Too, there's a lot of negative publicity that they think um, this whole health care reform is a free handout to every American and that's not really what they're looking for. They're looking for a fair shake for everybody and I think it's important that everybody finds that out, that it's not just another government handout, but it's just it's an actual reform of making things more fair for every American. Well, uh, we're with AFSCME, the American Federation of State County Municipal Employees, and we believe that there's three things that have to happen with health care reform. There has to be a strong public option that can compete with private insurance to bring prices down for all Americans. There also has to be, we have to maintain the employer mandate to where have a pay or play system. You know, if you don't provide insurance, you're paying to the subsidy for your other people if you can't provide it. And then the third thing is that um, there should be no taxation of benefits in the middle class. Uh, it's just inappropriate for our Kansans. We want to make sure that that's not what's used to pay for this reform. And that's what we're out here fighting for. There's tons of misinformation out there that like, a lot of people think this is some type of single-payer reform and there's nothing about single-payer in the bill. And frankly, if it was, it, it wouldn't pass anyway. It's just not politically viable right now. you know. And so we're out here just trying to get this idea of a public option out so people understand that um, it's something that can compete with private insurance and say if you have you have a job and you lose it, you can't afford your COBRA payments, you know, on unemployment. So this would be something more of a stability type plan that could uh, tie you over until you get another job and get better insurance again.